All right, so here are our two llamas. We have a girl one, we have a boy one. You guys are gonna be able to pick how you would like to draw them and add any details to them, change the background, but we'll go ahead and get started with our llamas. So if you have at home, you're just gonna need a pencil, some crayons to color, and if you have a black marker, you can go ahead and use it, but you don't have to have it. So I'm going to draw mine with the black marker just so you guys can see it better like I do in class. You're going to start with your llama's neck and head just by making yourself a little wiggle going up and back down. All right, then we're going to go ahead and start to add the ears. Make a smaller one inside. Same thing on the other side. If you guys are having any trouble, you can always pause this video as I'm going so that you can keep up. So that way, if you make a mistake or you get stuck, you can just kind of freeze it and try to fix whatever part you're having trouble with. Take your time. So now we're going to work on the nose. Just make yourself a little heart shape letter J, backwards J, and then an oval shape to go around. All right, now we're going to go ahead and make a little bit of fur for his chin or her chin. So now you get to pick what kind of eyes you would like to do. You can have the eyes open, them closed, eyelashes, it could be winking, any kind of eyes that you would like to do. So this time I'm going to make this one with some eyes open. I'll add some little eyelashes, and I think this time I'm going to have this eye being closed to look like it's winking. All right, this is where you can decide if you want to add glasses, sunglasses, anything like that. I'm also going to go ahead and add some eyebrows, since you guys always like to add eyebrows. And right now, I pretty much have my llama done. So this is the point where you get to decide how you would like to make your llama look. Any kind of hats. Uh, accessories, they could wear bows, bow ties, a crown, um, anything that you guys would like to do. You can also go ahead and decide what kind of background you would like to add to your picture. So in my other ones, I kind of put some shapes, but this time I think I would rather make a line design in my background just to make it a little more funky. But again, that's up to you guys. You guys really get to decide what you want your picture to look like and what kind of design you want it to have. So I will leave you guys right here. You guys have drawn your llama now, and now you can go ahead and add any other details that you would like to finish your llama off. You guys can also, when you're all done and you have it colored, you can always take a picture of it, have your parents help you, and you can email it to me so I can check out your llamas if you'd like. All right, have fun guys. I'll see you next week for the next drawing.